These videos about tech news gain thousands of views and earn hundreds to thousands of dollars a month. So in this video, I'll show you an easy way you can go about creating a tech news channel using AI and note well that this method will work for any news channel, not just tech news. So the first thing you need to do is get ideas for your video. In order to do this, what you want to do is come on over to Google and simply do a search for Google tech news, or you could search for whichever niche you're in. All you would do is replace tech with the specific niche that you want to get into. Then once you do this, you want to click onto this option over here from Google, and then it's going to take you to this page. Now, once on this page, as you could see, there are a bunch of different options you could choose from, like I mentioned earlier, but we'll stay in the technology section. And then over here, what you want to do is just scroll through all the different news articles that they have written until you find one that you would want to create a video about. And if you wanted to, you could also sort by specific sections of technology as well. And then once you found the article that you want to make a video about, what you want to do is simply click onto any one of them. So for example, I'm going to click onto it here. And then from here, what you need to do is copy this link and then you want to save it because this is going to come in handy for later. But now that you have your video idea, wasn't that super easy? It was. It's now time to move on to the next step, which is actually creating your video. Now, in order to create the video, you want to come on over to NVIDIA AI. You could find a link for it in the description below. This is the easiest way you can go about creating videos for a channel like this. Now, once on NVIDIA AI, I do recommend that you have the beta features enabled because it does allow you to get access to all the new features. In order to do this, you want to come on over to where you see your icon with your name. So you'd click onto it and then you'd go to where it says profile and then you want to go to where it says workplace settings. And then from here, you want to ensure that you have this setting on which says beta features. Now, once this is done, you can come on back on over to the home page and you'd see at the top here that you have the beta features enabled if you take a simple look in that setting area. Now, once you're in this area, in order to create the video, what you need to do is direct yourself to the bottom here where it says workflows and plugins. Now in this section, what you want to do is click where it says explore all and then you want to click news video. Now from here, as you can see, it opens up this pop-up window where from here, all you need to do is simply fill in the blanks of the information you need to create your video. Isn't this seeming very easy so far? I told you this is not hard to do at all. So from here, what you need to do is now begin filling in the blanks. So the first thing you say, create a news video about. And now in order to fill in the blanks, you want to go back and forth from the article that you do want to recreate to use it as inspiration. Do not copy these people's hard work. All you want to do is use it as inspiration. And in case you're thinking, isn't it copying? Majority of news articles come from the inspiration of other articles. And when it comes to news, there's typically hundreds to thousands of reporters or individuals reporting on the exact same story. So as long as you don't sit there and copy, it's like 100%, just use it as inspiration. It's completely okay. So you utilize this information in the article to fill in your prompts. So now let me show you how easy you can go about filling in this prompt. So first thing, so it says create a news video about. You need to tell it what to make the video about. So you can come back over to this article and then you could simply go ahead to read through it, find out exactly what it is about and then input this here. But let's just say you don't really want to read about this. What you can do is this. You can go ahead to copy the entire article and then you could come on over to ChatGPT and ask for a prompt like this. Give me a summarization of what this article is about. And then you can go ahead to paste in the article and hit enter. And now as you can see, it's giving you a proper summary of what the news story is about. So you can go ahead to copy this and then you could come back on over to NVIDIA and simply paste it in. So now you have your description of what the video is about. And then now it's asking you to insert a link of an article so that way it can go and actually read the article and get information from the article to ensure that the information it is putting in the script that it will generate will be accurate information so you can go ahead to now go back to the article you can go ahead to copy the url come back on over to in video and paste it in now from here you're mostly done with the description aspect of your video when you're doing this you may want to put a little bit more effort into making yours unique to yourself you could actually go ahead to research this topic if you want from multiple different articles to have your own information but from here now it's onto the settings of the video so the first thing is make the background music and now you want to go ahead to select a type of music that you'd want so in this case i'll simply say news because i'm not sure what type of music i'd want to use and then you can go ahead to select the type of voice you'd want whether it be a male female or your own voice if you've already uploaded your voice to in video so i'll go ahead to select a female voice and then next you can go ahead to select from many different accents and voices for what you'd want your voice over to sound like for example a pacific northwest accent 
accent, young British voice, young Indian voice, Australian voice. As you can see, there are many, many different options to choose from. So I'll go ahead to stick with the usual Eclair American voice. And then you want to just keep this as the narrator. And then next, if you want to add subtitles to your video, which I do recommend as it makes it more engaging, you can go ahead to add this in. And as you can see, there are many different subtitles you could choose from. From the classic banger effect, you have a comic font and a shake effect, word by word subtitles, classic harmozy style. There's many different popular subtitle settings. So you choose whichever one you think would work best in your case. I like to go for the simple add word by word. And then number four, you could go ahead to select the type of media you'd want to use. I always prefer to use iStock and then the type of audio. I would say use audio from the YouTube library as the chances of you getting copyrighted are very slim to nothing. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is hit continue. Now, as you can see, it's given you the prompt in the prompt box. You didn't have to really think of it manually. Now, if you've seen any of my videos about prompting, I do always recommend using a more in-depth prompt as you can get a more better results, let's say. Even if you use this way, it's still great, but there are some things that you should always add in to ensure that your video is generated the best way possible. So the first one is saying how long you'd want your video to be. So for example, where it says create a news video about, we can go ahead to refine this by saying a tech news video. And now we can go ahead to add in the length of the video. So I can go ahead to say a 10 minutes, a 15 minutes or however long i would want the video to be but just for the sake of the tutorial i'll go ahead to keep it down to two minutes and then something else you'd want to add into the settings is the media pacing this is the difference in what makes a video very engaging or very boring so i always like to say make media pacing be and then this just defines how quickly the media changes on screen so i like to keep this as very fast you don't have to you could put it as fast slow whatever you want is up to you but these are the extra settings i would say you should always put in your video and then go ahead to hit generate video and then after you've done this it's going to take you to this page where you need to further refine who and what the video is for so for example the platform you know it's going to be for youtube so you'll keep youtube selected then you can select the look and feel of your video so in my case i would want mine to be clean out of the three options it's given me and then the three options it's given me for audience whether the video is created for tech enthusiasts environmentalists or the general public in my instance i know i want to create videos for tech enthusiasts so i'll keep this one selected and hit continue once you've done this as you can see in video will begin creating the entire video for you with a proper script voiceover stock media and background music and then once your video is generated you can go ahead to take a look at it to see if you like what it looks like so let's just take a quick look hey tech enthusiasts today i'm diving deep into a topic that's shaping our digital landscape yet often flies under the radar let's talk about the environmental impact of generative ai since the release of chat gpt by open ai back in late 2022 AI tools have become ubiquitous in our online lives. From AI-generated summaries popping up in search results to interactive AI on social media, they're everywhere. But have you ever wondered about the hidden costs behind this tech boom? And as you can see, it looks pretty good. It has the background music. It has all the stock media. It made its own script and it also has the subtitles on screen. So in that case, you can go ahead to just export your video and be done with it. But I don't recommend you do this, not at all, because you need to further edit your video to make it quite perfect. In order to edit your video, it is very simple. What you would want to do is click where it says edit. And then on the edit page, you can go ahead to select where it says edit media. And then you could actually go ahead to edit the different from stock media that's in your video. All you'd have to do to edit this is simply click on the media you'd want to change, for example, this one. And then as you can see, it highlights the part of the script that the media is covered. So you can read what it says, and then you could search for something along the lines that you'd want to use in your video. So for example, energy and AI. Let's see if there's anything about this. And as you can see, it gives you many options to choose from. So when you find one that you like, all you'd have to simply do is click onto it, for example, this one. And then as you can see, it has gone ahead to replace the clip that was previously there once you're done with this all you need to click is apply changes and it will go ahead to apply those new changes to your video for you next if you need to edit the script all you need to do is click where it says edit script and then it's going to take you to this page where you can see the entire script of the video from here if you want to edit something you could simply change it so you could simply go ahead to select what you want delete what's there or add something new the choice is completely up to you and lastly if you want to edit the music you'd simply click where it says edit music and then it will take you to this page where you can see all the different songs 
songs that are available for you to utilize in your video. In order to change it, all you'd simply need to do is select the one you'd want. So as you can see, it replaces the previous option. And then all you need to do is click apply changes. It's that easy and simple to edit with this tool. And then the second way you can go about editing this video is using this command text to edit feature at the bottom here. So for example, the subtitles, I don't necessarily like them and I don't think they're helpful in this type of video. So I could go ahead to simply say remove subtitles, hit generate, and then it will go ahead to remove them for me without me having to edit it. So if we take a look at it now. Hey tech enthusiasts. Today, I'm diving deep into a topic that's shaping our digital landscape, yet often flies under the radar. As you can see, the subtitles are gone, and now the video already looks way better. Now, I also feel like the music is way too loud. So I can also have it reduce the volume for me by saying reduce background music's volume to 50% and then hit generate. So now it'll go ahead to do this for me so the background music isn't too loud and overpowering the voiceover. And then you can continue simply telling it what to change, and it will continuously change this in the video for you. And now, what if when editing this, you realize I actually actually don't want the video in English. In fact, I want to change it to a different language like French, for example. I could simply tell it to do so. So I can simply say change video language to French and hit generate. So now it's gone ahead to edit this for me. Let's see what it looks like. Passionné de technologie. Aujourd'hui, je plonge au cœur d'un sujet qui façonne notre paysage numérique mais qui passe souvent inaperçu. Parlons de l'impact environnemental de l'IA générative. Depuis le lancement de ChatGPT par OpenAI fin 2022, Les outils d'IA sont devenus omniprésents dans nos vies en ligne. As you can see, it's gone ahead to change the language perfectly for us. Now, I'm not a fluent French speaker, but from what I heard, it sounds pretty great to me. And you can go ahead to change this for whatever language you want. As I mentioned earlier, InVideo has lots of languages to choose from. And that's all it takes to generate your video. From here, you want to continuously edit it till it gets to a point where you're super happy with what it looks like and you feel like it will perform well on YouTube. Remember, you still want to put out a quality video. But once you're done, all that's left is for you to download your video. So in order to download it, you want to click where it says download and then you want to click download video and then you want to ensure in the download settings you have no watermarks. When it says in video branding, you said you say none and then 1080p. This is the best quality for YouTube and click continue. From here, it will go ahead to export your video so that you could download it and upload it to your YouTube channel. It's that simple. One important note well that you need to understand is that if you're creating a news channel, you need to be posting very often. Sometimes almost every single day because as a news channel if you want to become the dominator in this niche you want to be putting out relevant news every single day this is what people would expect so just keep in mind that if you're going into this niche you will be needing to create lots of videos but as you can see using this tool it doesn't take you long at all and you can easily put out lots and lots of content for your channel and remember to try to make your content as original and as unique as you possibly can so that you stand out from everything else now if this channel or this niche was something Something you wanted to get into now you know how but hold on now don't click off yet because if you want to learn more from me which you probably should then you need to check out this other video on my channel